now we will calculate mean of the f distribution we know that mean is equals to first moment about origin that is the mu1 dash which is equals to expectation of f raised to power 1 now according to the definition of the expectation we write here integration over the all values of f with respect to df here we write that term which is inside the expectation here we write the pdf for far f distribution we know that pdf for far f distribution is this whole and in f distribution our f takes value from 0 to infinity that's why we write here 0 to infinity now we will put this constant term outside the integration because this term does not contain f that's why we considered this term as a constant term now we will use this substitution that is at the place of this whole term we will write only y that means nu1 divided by nu2 f is equals to y from here we take value of f is equals to nu2 divided by nu1 multiplied by y now we will differentiate both terms with respect to f we will get this value now we can see that value of df is equals to this whole term now we use these three equations in this whole integral that is at the place of f we have to write nu2 divided by nu1 multiplied by y because of this equation and at the place of this term we have to write only y because of this equation and at the place of df we write here only nu2 divided by nu1 multiplied by dy because of this equation we can also change this limits according to our new y that is when value of our f is equals to 0 value of our y will be 0 multiplied by this term that is again 0 when value of our f is equals to infinity value of our y is equals to infinity multiplied by this term that is again infinity Next we know that we can write x raised to power a is equals to 1 divided by x raised to power minus a. Similarly, if we take it as x and it as a, that is here we have x raised to power nu 1 divided by 2. Then we can write this term as 1 divided by x raised to power minus nu 1 by 2. So now, 1 divided by x means reciprocal of this term that is nu 1 divided by nu 2 raised to power minus nu 1 divided by 2 that's why we write here this term at the place of this term similarly we can write this term as like nu 1 divided by nu 2 raised to power minus 1 we take these terms outside the integral because these terms does not contain y so these are considered as the constant terms now this is the pdf of the beta distribution and on taking integration from 0 to infinity its value is equals to 1. On taking this term here we get the definition of beta function is equals to this whole term. Now we will compare this whole term with this whole term. So that means we just have to find the value of our m and n for our answer. Now we will compare this term with this term to find the value of our m. So now m minus 1 is equals to nu 1 divided by 2. That means m is equals to nu 1 divided by 2 plus 1. And next we have to find the value of our m. So that's why we compare this term with this term. That is m plus n is equals to nu 1 divided by 2 plus nu 2 divided by 2. And now we have already calculated value of our m is equals to this one. That's why at the place of m we write here nu 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus n is equals to nu 1 divided by 2 plus nu 2 divided by 2. It will be cancelled out by this term. And here value of our n is equals to nu 2 divided by 2 minus 1. So here we have find the value of m and n. That means now this whole term is equals to beta of this and this. Because this is our m and this is our n. Now we know that we can expand our beta function in terms of gamma function as like this one. So on considering it as m and it as n. On applying this formula here. We can write this term at the place of this term. And again taking it as m it as n and on applying this formula we can write this whole beta function as like this one next we know that we can expand our gamma function as like this one so that means we can expand our this gamma function as like these two values and next we can expand our this gamma function as like these two values we have have expanded these gamma functions because we want to cancel this term with this term and this term with this term 
नेक्स्ट वी आर लेफ्ट विद ओनली दिस टर्म मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस टर्म डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टर्म वी हैव टेकन हियर एलसीएम ऑफ दिस टर्म टू विल बी कैंसिल्ड आउट बाय टू न्यू वन विल बी कैंसिल्ड आउट बाय न्यू वन एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद ओनली न्यू टू डिवाइड बाय न्यू टू माइनस न्यू टू दैट इज दिस टर्म व्हिच इज द मीन ऑफ द एफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट इज अ फर्स्ट मोमेंट अबाउट टू रीच इन दैट इज म्यू वन डैश now we will calculate variance of our f distribution we know that variance in terms of expectation is equals to this one and in terms of the moments about origin it is equals to this one now we have already calculated these values which was the mean of the f distribution we just have to calculate this value that is expectation of f square so let's start we now calculate expectation of f square and according to the definition of our expectation we write here integral over the whole values of f with respect to df here we write that term which is inside the expectation here we write the pdf of our f distribution we know that pdf of our f distribution is this whole term next we will take this constant term outside the integral because this term does not contain f now we will use this substitution that is at the place of this value that is new 1 divided by new 2 multiplied by f we write only y so now here we calculate value of our f in terms of y now differentiating both sides with respect to capital f we get this term from here we calculate value of df in terms of dy now we will use these three equations in this integral that is at the place of f we have to write this value and at the place of this term we have to write only y and at the place of df we have to write this term as like this one now we know that if we have a divided by b raised to power suppose x then we can write this term as b divided by a raised to power minus x similarly we did this thing here that is the new 2 divided by new 1 raised to power this is equals to its reciprocal that is new 1 divided by new 2 raised to power minus of this whole term as like this one next this term is also written here next so we take this term outside the integral because these are the constant term because this term does not contain y since our bases are same so we can add these powers that is new 1 divided by 2 plus minus new 1 by 2 minus 1 it will be cancelled out by this term we get only new 1 divided by 2 raised to power minus 1 and again we can write this term as new 2 divided by new 1 raised to power plus 1 and then these bases will become same and the powers are 1 1 so we can write here this term next we know that the definition of our beta function is equals to this one so we will compare this whole term with this whole term so now we just want to calculate here value of small n then small n that's why we will compare this term with this term that is our m minus 1 is equals to new 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that means value of our m is equals to new 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is the overall plus 2 that means value of our m is this now we want to calculate value of n so that's why we will compare this term with this term that is m plus n is equals to new 1 divided by 2 plus new 2 divided by 2 but we have already calculated value of m which is equals to new 1 divided by 2 plus 2 that's why at the place of m we write here new 1 divided by 2 plus 2 now it will be cancelled out by this one and value of our n is equals to new 2 divided by 2 minus this 2 So now we have calculated value of our m and n. Now this whole term is equals to beta of this term and this term. It is as m and it has n. Now we also know that we can expand beta function in terms of the gamma function as like this one. So on using this definition of the beta function, we can expand this term as like this one, considering it as m, it has n. next we again apply that definition on this term also so we can write at the place of this whole term this whole term considering it as m and it as n next we again know that we can expand our gamma function as like this one so that's why we have expanded our this gamma function that is the gamma new 2 by 2 two times as like this one by using this formula again we have expanded our this gamma function two times 
as like this one by using this formula we have expanded these gamma functions because we want to cancel this with this one this with this one next here we left with only this term that is this one next on taking lcm of this term that is this one this term that is this one on taking lcm of these two terms that is whole over this one next we can see that we can cancel this two with this two this two with this two we here left with only this term multiply by this term now we can cancel it with the, its a square divided by this term multiply by this term multiply by this term now it is just only mu to dash that is the expectation of our f square we want to calculate now variance so we write here the value of expectation of f square that is this one which we have calculated and here we write the mean of uh, f distribution that is the this term so now on squaring this term we write here this whole value next we will take common new to square divide by new to minus 2 common from these two terms as like this whole term next we will take lcm of these two terms as like this whole term that is we have to multiply new to minus 2 with this term and this term with this term as like this one next we will expand these brackets as like these four terms and this bracket as like these two terms next we can see that it will be cancelled out by this term and plus 4 new 1 minus 2 new 1 is equals to 2 new 1 plus this term minus of this 4 next we can see that if we take common 2 from these 3 terms we have to write only this value here and next this term multiplied by this term will become square that is this is now our variance of the f distribution